Before 2013, autism and the Asperger's syndrome were considered to be different conditions. In 2013, Asperger's syndrome was included as a subtype in the autism spectrum disorder. People with autism will have the characteristics of autism to varying degrees. In some, mild, some more severe. It has many shades of grey, which is why we talk about it as a spectrum. In this video, we will have a look at the autism spectrum. Autism is the name given to the development disorder that includes a wide range of behaviours. The person on the autism spectrum will show characteristics such as difficulties in terms of social awareness, difficulties in terms of communication, or restricted, repetitive or stereotyped interests and activities. What though does this mean in reality? Someone on the autism spectrum may have difficulties in social situations, avoiding eye contact, not expressing emotion, or only showing a limited range of emotions, having difficulty in interpreting the emotions of others. Children may not seem as attached to their parents or close relatives. They may lack interest in social games or playing with other children. Someone on the autism spectrum can also find communication difficult. For example, they may have delayed or limited speech. They may not respond to their name by 12 months of age or not point to objects in the distance by 14 months of age. Adults might not understand sarcasm or jokes. They may just take things literally. They may use more formal language and avoid slang terms. Some children on the autism spectrum exhibit echolalia. This involves repeating other people's words and phrases. They may also repeat their own words over and over. People on the autism spectrum may also have restrictive, repetitive or stereotyped interests. For example, they may be very reliant on rules and routine. They may like things done a certain way and at a certain time. They might find it very upsetting if there are minor changes. Big changes such as moving from one school to another or moving house can be particularly distressing. They may be upset by different sounds, smells, tastes, touches or sights. For example, they may not want to eat certain foods due to the texture. They can become reliant on very set rules and repetitive behaviour. For example, they may become obsessed with a particular interest, such as cars, trains, makeup or so on. It can become very important to the person to the exclusion of other interests and other people. Some will demonstrate repetitive behaviours such as flapping their arms. Girls with autism may also show an interest in more female stereotypical interests such as makeup, celebrities and so on. It's really important to remember autism is a spectrum disorder so a person can demonstrate the different characteristics in only a limited way, a very subtle way, or in a more severe way. It varies. 
Asperger's syndrome is sometimes also called higher functioning autism. People with Asperger's syndrome do not tend to have delays in early language development, nor cognitive delays. As mentioned earlier, Asperger's syndrome is now on the autism spectrum. People on the autism spectrum can also experience other difficulties, such as poor communication and social skills can make it hard for them to make friends and interact with others. As a result of this, a person on the autism spectrum may also become a victim of bullying. Some people on the autism spectrum may engage in self-injurious behaviours, such as banging their own head. People on the autism spectrum may also be hyperactive. They may show a fear or anger for no obvious reason. They may have sleep difficulties. Some children on this spectrum may have seizures. As mentioned, some people may have difficulties with taste, touch, smell, sights and noise, which can lead them to overreact or underreact to situations. They may feel overwhelmed by noises or clothes may make them feel uncomfortable. They may feel too hot or too cold. Many supermarkets, cinemas and theatres now offer autism friendly sessions in some countries to counteract these effects. Some people on the spectrum may seek stimulation such as playing loud music a lot. Not everything about autism is negative though. There are a lot of positives. Some very successful people have autism. For example, being autistic often makes you very highly focused, which is useful in tasks requiring a high attention to detail. Autism can make people more reliable, preferring to stick to routines. And in some workplaces, that's very important. They can be good with facts and figures. And the tendency to obsess on particular things can mean that they can become experts in highly specialised fields. Technology offers real potential for people on the autism spectrum to work in highly structured, finely detailed areas. People with autism can be very well organised. The term autistic savant is often used to describe people with autism who are extremely naturally talented in their area of interest even geniuses. In 2014, the World Health Organization suggested one in 160 children have autism spectrum disorders. But other sources vary, suggesting a higher prevalence. Boys are four times more likely to be on the autism spectrum than girls. In boys, the diagnosis tends to be made at around two or three, when the behaviours associated with autism become more obvious. In girls, however, diagnosis can be much later, even in the teens or adulthood. This is often when they change to senior school, where it's harder to hide their difficulties in social interaction. The characteristics of the autism spectrum that we've considered so far are usually considered the typical signs of autism. However, these often relate to boys. It's harder to diagnose girls as being on the autism spectrum 
as the signs and symptoms may differ. Some examples are that girls on the autism spectrum will tend to want to be friends with older girls as a form of social protection. They may also prefer to play with younger children. They may generally be more socially motivated and interact more with boys. Girls on the spectrum will engage in imaginative play but often be intense and stereotypical, focusing traditionally on female interests such as makeup, animals or celebrities. They may be very dependent on their mother or primary caregiver and find the world a daunting place. Girls are more likely to be ill when trying to get out of a situation rather than being disruptive in their behaviour. They may find it hard to make small talk, but can mimic social behaviour, but not really understand why it's important. They can be good at copying social behaviour to disguise the difficulties they experience, so their condition can be less obvious. Autism is not an illness to be cured. It should be treated as a condition that may require different support and perhaps extra support. For anyone suspecting that they or their child or someone they're close to has autism, start by seeking professional help. Good support can be essential for the person with autism to enable them to lead a fulfilling and happy life. Oh,